We're a chicken place. People come buy chicken. Good morning, good morning, good morning. The road to recovery, baby. We're coming back. There's a lot of good things ahead. We just gotta keep it moving, keep it working, keep it grooving. I am such a fat ass. <laughs> Why are you listening to Liam? Are you listening to Carlos? I came into work four o'clock on the dot. You know, I wasn't late at all. Like, never, I'm never late. And I was like, you know what? Let's walk around, see what's going on, see where I am today. And I just cut a corner, cut a corner too quick. And sure enough, my <laughs> dumper <laughs> snagged the tray and all the tenders went on the ground. No, it was dead. I'm not waste logging that. Take it up with Jamil. Yeah. Did you, wait, did you just say, why would you write your name? Is that what yeah. you just said? They were trash. Same, same question. You would think it would be my fault, but it turns out Jamil said, oh, it doesn't matter. They were dead anyway. They were trash. And I was like, okay, fantastic. But I didn't kill the chicken. I just dropped it on the ground. I'm going to sign off on it. You know what? I don't personally tell Kwame like that. It was Ian. Ian was cooking Ian chicken. Ian is not here. You're here. I'm asking you to waste all the chicken. And then all of a sudden, Colleen's like, Nathan, go write your name down for the whatever. It kind of doesn't sound like that, but I was like, wait, wait, what? Wait, I'm confused. What are you asking? You're asking me to write it down? Yes. As if it was my responsibility? Oh my God. Yeah, it was just you the one who dropped it. If, I'm, if someone got murdered and I witnessed it, I'm not going to go to the cops and be like, yo, I murdered somebody, here's my signature. That's not how these things work. So I was just defending that and saying, like, I'll write it on the sheet, but I'm not putting my name. I didn't waste the tenders. It was already trash. So do I put my name? Yes. But I wasn't on fries. Okay, put my name. But you weren't here. I don't really care. I'm not going to waste So I put Ian's name down. I wrote down four tenders dead in the tray, and then I wrote my initials because I signed off on it. Oh, now it's waste log properly. You're wasting so much energy being mean that it's hard being nice. Not a big deal. I feel vindicated because I wrote Ian's name down. You need some diapers? Because you're obviously crying. You know, someone should be held responsible. You're the person that dropped the tray. So if I would have dropped, if I would have dropped them in the trash can, would I still write it down? It's about. It's about. Let's go. Let's get it. Yeah, that's how we do it. We work together as a team. You know what, man? We're making a petition to get him fired. <laughs> what did I tell you about the petition, Carlos? So basically, what's been going on with the white is that he's been calling out on my ships constantly. It really hurts me when it when it's closing. Start out, you know, joking games. You know, I'm gonna sign a petition. I told him about it today. I was like, listen, man. Start showing up at least to my shifts, man. If you want to call out, at least call out Thursdays or, or Saturdays when I'm not here. The code name is short, but a really short petition. This petition, I've heard about it. I haven't been offered to sign it. Uh, I would like to sign it because as much as I love him, some of the stuff Dwight says, you know, if Jamil said it, he'd get fired. If Nathan said it, if Ian said it, he'd get fired. And for such a cute little guy, he can really make a deafening sound anytime he wants to. There's been a resounding sort of meh from everybody in the restaurant about this petition. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I guess we're stuck with a little we just bring up the petition in secret whenever he's getting on our nerves. It's nothing serious, it was all fun and games. But he's a great team member and we couldn't work without him, so just a silly thing we have here. Carlos started it though, I will say, uh, he is the founder. I think I was the second signature and then everyone basically followed. <laughs> it's a big brain, it's a big brain idea though, I don't know if anybody will get it. Hello world. Red is soft. It's me. No, not. See, I got my lassie, got my nose crystal. For my birthday, wish me happy birthday, April 26th. Yeah, I know this was you. Anyways, Dwight always like blaming me. I don't know what I did to him, but he just always on my kids. I've only been back here for an hour. I blame her because I want her to do better, because I know she can do better. But I know she's out here bullshit. 34.
Yeah, so we had an order at 8.40, which looking at the tablet, seemed like that was the last in-house, or maybe the second to last in-house order of the night. We forgot some fries on the back. See, they already driven home, and they were like, can I just come back? To, I know you guys are closed, but it, is it possible to come back to get fries? And I sent to the, to the management team at Chicken Fire, hey, find me this ticket, find what's going on, like what, what, what happened here? Whose fault is that? Aaliyah's? Aaliyah's? For everybody's. I don't know. I don't know how long he was here. It could have been anybody. With what I've understood, a team member forgot to put the fries in his bag. It was no. seven tenders. It was the seven tenders in the fries? Seven tenders in the fries, yeah. Oh, so I don't correct it. So yeah, it was the seven tenders in the fries. Yeah. Wait, so what happened? Then? The guy had an order of seven tenders meek and a side fry. Apparently, he did not get his fries. Um, I think Colleen verified that when he came back with the food, oh. even though they were swearing up and down that they made the fries, we made the fries, I had to make fresh fries, blah, 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 blah. So it sounds like to me, either they're just bullshitting or somebody got some side fries that they didn't pay for. No, it said Joel, not Joey. I do not understand how people can be consistently so wrong, but in their heart of hearts believe they are so right. Well, I mean, we ended up remaking this food because Kwame like demanding us to. I said, hey, if you're already driving back, I'm gonna make sure that they make you not only those fries, they're gonna make you an entire new meal. Was it on Uber or here? I don't, I don't know. So it's like, all, I, all I got was a screenshot of some text messages. We will make you an entire new meal for the inconvenience because it is ridiculous that you spent all this money and you hit your order in exactly as it was supposed to be and we couldn't make it to spec. We could not put fries in your bag. How, how ridiculous is that? Wait, so if you got seven tenders, what do you get, a side fry? Somebody sucks. There's two sauces and a side fry. Right. Somebody is sucks. Well, guess what? We should have checked his food. That's the you problem. Why should he have to check his food? You don't check your food. You check your food when you pull yeah. up from the drive thing? No. It was really weird how goofy everybody was acting like they haven't been making mistakes for the last like two months or whatever. So that was, that was kind of crazy. I don't care if they already shut everything down and off. You're going to refire every single thing back up. And you're going to make it right because you shouldn't have cheated the process. I Did you dip it the wrong level? It was all me. Because I literally went to the trailer thinking that we were like done for at night. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, I can relax. I can go do something else and wrong again. Um, every seems to be, every time I think that we're okay, we're not okay. It sucks that we got his order wrong. We try to be excellent in everything we do here. That is the, not necessarily the goal, that should be the standard and we didn't uphold that there. But you know, you live and you learn. Hopefully that never happens again. It was one of the final two orders. At the end of the night, the last orders that I came before were like 10, 15 minutes prior to that. It was really telling of where we are currently. Aaliyah, go open the door. Aaliyah got it. But yeah, no, I don't think he got his fries. I can 100% believe he didn't get his fries. Joel's order was an embarrassment, and I know that I have to work hard to work past it. I'm not gonna run away from it. I'm gonna lean right into it, and I gotta face it all head on. Man be racist. I'm gonna fight you. Oh, because of minority? Man be a homophobic towards Aaliyah. Are you guys done? Yeah, but we work. Like, what the f either do some work or clock out. Like, I don't got time for this bullshit. Like, I want to go home too. Thanks. Appreciate it.